Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about my hair type. Now, I get so many questions about what is my hair type, what's my porosity, what's my texture, thickness, density, and until now, I've kind of just been guessing at a lot of the answers, but I was recently, well I say recently, it was actually a few months ago now, gifted a hair analysis by a company called Lemma Labs. I basically packaged up some of my hairs that had fallen out, I didn't cut any hairs out, just ones that had shed in the shower, and I sent them away and they analyzed them under a microscope. So today we're gonna find out if I was right about my hair type. So let's go ahead. So the hair analysis covers hair porosity, hair thickness, scalp oiliness, and your hair's health in general. So any UV damage, heat damage, anything like that. And it also covers your water hardness in your home. So you have to do like an at-home water hardness test and an at-home scalp sebum test. So before finding out my results, I had to fill out a pre-testing survey just so I had something to compare what I thought my hair was to what it actually is. So I think first let's take a look at the answers that I put on the pre-testing survey and then we can compare to see if I was right. So the first question was, is your hair fine, thick or somewhere in between? And I put fine to medium with some coarse cool strands underneath where it's most curly. So I've always thought as my hair to be fine, it's definitely thicker underneath where I've got like my curliest pieces, more fine on top I would say. And the second question is, do you think your hair is damaged? And I said, not in general, but perhaps slightly at the ends because it's been a while since I had a cut. In general, I think my hair is pretty healthy. I don't use any heat on it or anything, only when I diffuse and I don't use a high heat. So I'd say my hair is pretty healthy. And the next question, describe the porosity of your hair. I put low to medium, describe the condition of your scalp, and I said it's been a lot more oily recently, so I'd say between normal and oily. Describe the water in your home, I would said hard water, I've got pretty hard water where I live. Describe the strength of your hair, strong, average or weak, and I said average. And then I had to describe some of the products that I use on my hair and list any general feelings towards my hair. I said it's easily over moisturised, soft on the wavy top layers and often lacks structure. So now let's have a little look at the final report, my hair analysis, and see if I was correct. To begin the report, they talk about what they test. So they've covered thickness, porosity, scalp sebum, water hardness, and any damage. And then it goes into my hair summary. So there's actually some like microscopic study pictures of my hair, so you can see any damage. Underneath the pictures, it actually says that I do have some damage. Dun dun dun! So I have some UV damage and some physical damage. So UV damage is obviously from the sun and I know that I definitely do have UV damage, especially like these pieces here. You can see they are so much lighter than the rest of my hair and they really struggle to curl as well. It just feels like this whole piece of hair just needs to just be cut off and, and start again. But even when I had my hair shorter, it was still there. Like at the beginning of the year, my hair was like up here and this piece of hair, this specific piece of hair, this one that wants to be blonde, um, look at the difference in colour though, it's just crazy. And then physical damage is caused by like brushing and friction and things like that and I do sleep on a silk pillowcase so I don't think I would have that much physical damage but I suppose I touch my hair quite a lot and we were just coming out of winter when I sent my results across so I'd been like wearing coats and scarves and things so that could be another reason for that. I don't have any chemical damage because I have never dyed my hair and I don't have any heat damage because I haven't used heat on my hair for three years, I've not used heat on my hair for other than diffusing, but that kind of disperses the air and I use like medium heat. So it's really good to know that the way I've been diffusing my hair hasn't caused any kind of heat damage. So moving on to the thickness of my hair. Now I thought, and I was pretty sure of this, that my hair was fine to medium. Mainly fine, I thought. Obviously I've got thousands of hairs on my head, but out of the 20 or so hairs that I sent across to be analyzed, the majority of them were medium thick. So they fall within the medium. So it's fine, medium or coarse, and my hair is medium towards coarse. 
and I would say that's definitely right for like the underneath layers of my hair but like when you feel it as a whole it doesn't feel coarse it's like it feels fine to medium <laughs> So I guess that's what it is. And I did actually ask my hairdresser as well, and like she feels hair all day, every day, and she said that my hair feels fine. So when you touch it, like as a whole, like it feels like fine hair. Obviously the science, you can't argue with the science, but you have to think about the fact that I sent 20 hairs off and there's thousands on my head. But yeah, it's really interesting. It's very interesting. So now if you ask me whether I have fine, medium or coarse hair, I will say medium, medium hair. And then moving on to porosity, my hair is within the low category, so I was right about that. So if any of you have low porosity hair, then what works for me may work for you. And then the scalp and water hardness test, I had to do myself at home, so you get like a little cardboard tester thing, and the hard water test, you just dip into some shower water, and it's like a little testing strip, and then with the scalp test, you just have an, a similar thing, and you rub that into your scalp, and then it tells you how oily it is, like you put it up against a card. So mine was slightly oily, which is what I thought on my testing survey, and my water hardness is medium hard. It's good to know that I kind of had a good idea of my hair and water and scalp. The analysis then goes into more detail about the damage in my hair with some recommendations on how to prevent further damage. It also goes into more detail about my hair properties with routine recommendations based on my hair type. It talks about protein and how thicker strands generally aren't compatible with protein enriched products, which I've personally found not to be true for my hair. It also talks about styling and damage management and gives some recommendations on ingredients that will and won't work for my hair along with some product recommendations which include things like shampoos, conditioners, hair tools and styling products. So there you go, those are my hair analysis results and I don't think I was too far off on most of the points. I think there's a few things that obviously I didn't realise that the majority of my hair, the strands that I sent in, were medium thick. So it's interesting to know my hair isn't fine hair, so I'm definitely going to be paying attention to that and taking that on board. For me, the biggest benefit of this was figuring out my porosity and my hair thickness. And I think they do do a specific test just for that. So this is like the full package where you get routine recommendations, product recommendations, and like a, an in-depth look at your hair. But I think they also do do a package where you can just find out your porosity and your thickness. You don't have all the product recommendations as well. So it's definitely something to look into. And I think if you're just starting out looking after your hair and you don't want to spend a load of money on products because so many people spend fortunes on hair products because they don't know what works for them. So I think if you are looking for something that is going to help you at the beginning of your journey, like figure out what your hair type is, what your hair needs and will respond to, then I think it kind of gets you off on the right foot. But obviously bear in mind that they're only testing about 20 to 30 of your hairs so it's not going to give like the most accurate picture but it will give you like a good starting point so yes i really hope you found this video helpful guys and now you know my hair type so if you have a similar hair type to me then hopefully my videos and product recommendations will be even more beneficial to you now but yeah i really hope you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments below if any of you guys have had a hair analysis if you're looking to get a hair analysis and thank you so much to lemma labs for thinking of me for this hair analysis i've wanted to get my hair analyzed under a microscope for so long but yeah if you did enjoy the video please feel free to give it a like leave a comment and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i'll see you soon bye guys